My name is James Williams Jr. and I'm going to do a comparative video about Mass Effect. Mass Effect, Mass Effect, Mass Effect, Mass Effect, Mass Effect, Mass Effect. I don't really know where I am with this, so you're gonna have to bear with me because we're gonna see. Alright, so um, comparative video. Here we go. The things I love about Mass Effect. The trilogy and Andromeda. Right there you see that that is Andromeda. And if you don't see, well, you should see. Now we're going to switch off. And move my little ass over here. Crap. No idea what's going on. Here. <laughs> so I have to load this because I don't exactly know where I am. Please ignore the children in the background. And while this is loading. And you should know, yes, this will probably be Fem Shepherd without a doubt. Let's see. And normally I use the Trilogy's disc. I don't think that it would matter. I'm not really sure if it does or if it doesn't. We're going to find out in a New York minute. Yeah. So, it's kind of hard to say. Eventually... There we go. Contacting that EA servers. Presume. Let's presume. Because I actually have no idea where I am in this game. Because I played that and I played uh, something else to hold me over until Andromeda dropped. That something else would be known as. Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Just to get that out of the way. So, you know. I want to do a small comparison. Just a small comparison. I'm probably not going to do anything to save this or whatever. Just want to, you know, go to wherever I am. I think I was on Omega. Okay, I'm not on Omega. I'm on my ship. This is my femme chef. That's about as Asian as I could get her. Let's go check out some clothing. Captain's stuff. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to just show you guys about five minutes of this. No, just for the sake of showing and hopefully remembering to have fish. So for all you Bioware fans out there, that this hasn't pissed you off that in Andromeda we don't get to even have fish. We don't have fish. It like totally fucking sucks that we don't have fucking fish. And unlike everyone else, like the um the game, the um PC game, you know. Here's my armor. And that's my favorite set of armor. Him in the leather, like the pants and everything and all this stuff. That's my favorite set of armor. And we don't get this in Mass Effect Andromeda. This is the only armor I use. This is the armor I prefer, especially with Fem Shep. It enhances the breasts. You can see that she has boobs. You know, you can see that she has a butt. 
for those who are ass, man. Zoom in, zoom in. Look at that. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead, zoom in. I don't know how to zoom in, but there you go. Now here's the other armor set. If it ever... There you go. Here's one more. And here's the free one from whatever game that is. And there's your... Um, Cerberus Ajax armor. Which I really like, except for the fact that it's Cerberus. You know? And simulates everything. You can even tell that that's actually a woman in that outfit. Please ignore the children. And now we're going to go up to casual clothing. Alright, let's go to my favorite outfit. The mini skirt. Why can't Sarah have a skirt? And this skirt's actually longer than it was in Mass Effect 2. Yeah. They should be able to have more than five sets of clothing. And the same thing with Mass Effect uh, Andromeda. You know, with the clothing. You guys have already heard me complain about that like a thousand times. You know. You got your casual uniform. I don't know why the initiative doesn't have a um, military-style uniform. I don't know why I can't rotate her anymore. Oh, that's why I'm using the wrong damn control. Sorry, I kind of got used to using the Andromeda control. So, you know, you can see her decked out. You can see her in her solid uniform. You can see her in the, uni the officer's uniform. Casual wear, which you should have more than this. Then you have that. And your second casual wear, you know, your dress should be able to, you should be able to have different color dresses. You should have at least 15 to 20 outfits in all, you know, not the same. You, know, you should be able to wear the Asari dress or whatever. You know, I'm not going to keep that. going to go back to, I think that's what I had on. Actually, unification is fine, so we're going to go to that. And, you know, I want to point some stuff out before I leave this whole thing here and go over to Mass Effect Andromeda. So I have all the models. You have the Asari big, big wig, big cannon gun. You have uh, Turians. You have more Turians and Corians, and you have the fucking Reaper. You have the Geth ship. You have some Dreadnoughts. You have both of the Normandies, SR1, SR2. You have the the damn or not the Ark, the freaking damn um the Shadow Broker ship, more dreadnoughts, a Corian Protilla thing, a Gap Fighter, other little fighters in the shuttle, and you have um it's not the Nexus. The fucking damn Citadel. Now watch my squirrel. Excuse me, my space hamster, Boo. Boo doesn't do as much as Shady, but Shady doesn't do as much as Boo. And we have a toilet. Watch this. It flushes. They dropped the ball a little bit on Andromeda. Check this out. Oh, now the shower doesn't work. Well, the shower works in, um... The shower works when you're in certain labs, but it doesn't work here. Yeah, sorry. Still using that triangle. So, we're going to go all the way down to the shuttle bay. Because the Tempest only has like two floors, but the Normandy has five floors. And the Normandy is like a bigger ship anyway. And that's cool and everything. But, you know, for you Mass Effect fans, and I know all the screaming in the background has totally ruined this video, but I'm going to keep going. Because I can't. Also, I'm not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. You don't get any of that. Uh, nah. You get so out of it. You need hard to fight this kind of war. Well, here's your weapons, Des. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? No. So, you know, hey, that's you're like, the procurement specialist. You don't get Set any of up. these. You get that. But that's pretty much it. But that there and that there, they're badasses. And you get that, but it doesn't have the kick. That that other one has, and you get it. Those are my favorite weapons, by the way, in case you're all wondering why I pointed those out. And because you're in the new galaxy, this would be irrelevant. 
you know, you get your stuff there and things and you know. So there's your shuttle. I will give it to them that the Andromeda shuttles actually look a little bit better than these. But just not by much. They're just they're just a little different. They're not like a big super difference. You have the big burly guy on your team. And you have Drax. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I don't know where I am in this game, but I will find out when um I send my PlayStation 4 back to be reevaluated due to the fact that um it's uh tripping. Now my PlayStation 3 controller is like defeated, so I'm gonna have to buy a new controller. And once I do that, I'm gonna retire this thing. You just saw that, then you seen where the thing is. There's my shadow, hey. So we have the reporter. Tonight, he had Counselor Valor at gunpoint. No. You should now, be able to get her dress. Disappeared. We give you his history. Thank his you, enemies, Jessica Shobot, for being name, Diana Allers. Yeah, sorry. Damn it, sorry. Do you ever feel awkward being the only Turian on the ship? I don't know. Should I? I just mean not having I'm, I'm a little upset that we like don't around. have Corians in Andromeda. But she Did you hint at it? Food. Check it out. Massive drive core, massive drive core, massive drive core. have down here in the hidden section. But this is where you find Boo when you first start the game. If you're not up to speed on Mass Effect 3. Okay, let me um take off this damn thing. Oh, this shit done. Got auto lock on. I'll put that back on because I'm gonna cut this thing off in a minute. I just want to give you guys a tour of my Normandy. That's our two. Let's go see my Perthian. He's in there. I'm trying to get a feel of where I am so when I actually do start playing again and record, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to create a new character to start all over again when I have to give up my um, PlayStation 3. Excuse me, PlayStation 4. Let's go to the crew deck. Again, please ignore the children in the background. The only thing that sucks about this in comparison to Andromeda is the fact that there's a low time and I don't get the pets that the people who have computers get. You know, I don't get the mods. You know, I don't get to have Shepard run around butt ass naked, which is cool. I'm sorry, you guys might think that's a little perverted, but I would like to see Shepard butt ass naked, but only Fem Shep. Not, uh, Mail ship. Yeah. One thing I will say that I didn't like about this game is the fact that you can't drink as much as you do in the second game. Yeah. That doesn't seem to be an option, and for some reason, running fast is different in this game. Also, because I keep thinking I'm playing Andromeda, I keep using the wrong ass controllers. But you know, both games, I will say, there is no get to know non-essential characters and that should be a DLC for like all of the games. There's Caden, so clearly I didn't um, say what's her face. I have no idea who in the hell am I in a relationship with in this game. Here's Liara. This one is the only one that it takes like almost from Agent months. Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was in case you guys wondering why I'm not invaded. interacting with anyone, what happened. it's because I don't want to screw whatever I have going on with this game up. Also, because I can't remember what the hell I have going on with the, this game. So, since I don't know where I am... There 
Here's Garrus. Oh, here's that thing about the Thanix cannon doing a fuck ton of damage. I don't know what I don't know what I've accomplished. Cause I can't remember what I accomplished. I had to set the game aside because while I was waiting for Andromeda, I didn't want anything to take me away from the thrill of wanting to um be in Andromeda. Yeah. I wanted to kinda keep the mystery. Said that plus I've beaten this game like almost a hundred times don't tell anybody because that is true I have beaten this thing almost a hundred times I've made so many different film chefs man <laughs> they don't um, I'm not ashamed to say it I love playing film chef I like the uniform I like watching her ass run and kill people and I think I'm a vanguard in this I actually don't know because when you're on your ship you can't actually use your powers that works also on the um, Tempest. No. I hate this. I mean, I like it, but I hate it at the same time. It shouldn't take that long. But it does. And to be honest with you, I actually like the, the unretrofitted version of this, the Sivirus class. Let's see what we have in here. We don't have, um, Legion must be dead. I must have killed all the Geth. With that being said, I'm not touching anything. Like I said, I don't want to destroy anything that I've done before I cut this thing off. I will check the galaxy map to see what I have accomplished. Now, as you know, the um, the figures here compared to the figures in um, Andromeda are more like the figures in Game One, but with um, three like specs. But the story, the, the like cutscenes with your character is actually pretty damn good. You know. It's like the combo of game two and Joker, game three. You asked for news about the human colony, Tip Tree. Hey, Yara, you don't need to worry. Okay, so I may have just lost um, the Asari. Please ignore the evil little child laughing in the hallway. Let me um check this galaxy map before I um completely retire. Okay, I think I'm about to go and, um, ah, oh, shit, I wasn't supposed to do that. I think I'm about to go and hunt down the, um, the, um, the, um, the Leviathan. So, I'm gonna end this by sacrifice, I guess? Just because I don't know what's going on, I'm um, taking this to that level. Where the hell was I? Clearly, I'm missing something. I have no idea what it is, but clearly, I'm missing something. There it is. Okay, let's do that and save it. Alright. So, that's 100%. I'm gonna go on and get back to the main galaxy here. Must be going after the Leviathan. And I just summoned some Reapers. Okay. So, I 
to have Anderson's apartment and return to Bryson's lab. To have sanctuary. Let's see. That's a hundred. That's a hundred. That's a... I have no idea. But it's not a hundred. That's not a hundred. That's probably where I have to go. That's not... Nope, that's a hundred. That's a hundred. That's a hundred, but it's blinking. That's a hundred. That's a hundred, I guess. I don't know why that isn't a hundred. That's where the, the Lexus is. I mean, the Citadel. That's a hundred. That's a hundred. A hundred. Uh, Horsehead Nebula, which never has anything to let you know. There's that. There's that. There's that. That. Jekyll Burge. Alright, so. Guess what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go to Crescent Nebula and I'm gonna save it. Data saving, do not turn off your system. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. Go to this journal. Mark them all is viewed. I don't think I have the Leviathan yet. If I haven't, that's good. We're going to save it. I'm going to. And we're gonna move Shepard over here. Gonna check that email. Back up. And we're gonna power this puppy off. As I power this thing off, okay, we're not gonna power it off because clearly this thing needs to be charged up. So we're gonna charge it up, but we're gonna turn and go to the real game's beginning. Go to the source. The TV decides to fucking cooperate. We're gonna go on over. And go back to where I was with Andromeda. All right. Now, so did you guys know? Clearly, I need a new controller. Ah, <laughs> uh, crap! I just dropped the damn thing. All right. So clearly, I need a new controller. Clearly, it won't be long before I'm back on my PlayStation 3 since my PlayStation 4 is chipping, and I wanted you guys to see the things that you get and don't get with Mass Effect, the trilogy. Now as far as uh, Andromeda, you've been on my ship, so at this point I don't have any things since this is a new game. Is it gonna let me save? No, it is not, and this is why the PlayStation 4 has to go back. But you know, we only get that one outfit. You can change the colors. Makes it difficult to cultivate life. You can only change the colors. You can't do anything else. Site 1 contains shield masks to tap them the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. So, you see that. And now, this is like the advance. I like the way these characters are made more than I like um, 3. Because it actually gives you more of a feel that um, it's more open. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. And if people Still aren't like... Environment without power. Super didn't close. expect this kind of environment. Who could? My next game. Oh, you can't fall in there. Cool. Really, right? Structure.
structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station pathfinder. So anyway. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. In, the, in, in this game, you know, you, you, the people look better to me. You know, you actually can make your person look somewhat in the ethnic wasn't ground captain. that you would prefer them to look know. like. There I have caught here. all kinds of holy hell trying to make Shepard look Asian. And right. I know you're thinking, but James, you're not Asian. So you're right. I'm also Native American, black and white. But I generally play as an Asian person because that way it's neutral. And I don't have to be so racist between playing a black name. guy or a white right. guy. So I play an Asian Plus, girl. Problem solved. Plus I get to look at Wait, titties. Rider, as in Pathfinder, so, the Nexus just can't you let know. Eos go, can it? Then you gotta look at the, the, the combo of outfits. I'm tracking a signal that will help you. You only get I one only power for the base antenna. outfit to work with. Look, if I you're lucky, you get a hoodie. A oh yeah, today. you get a jacket. You turn the power relay back on. They'll know there's a yeah. juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. Anyway, as comparison, well, I think that the people crazy. tend to get better. Okay. Except well, for like, the out there. like ethnically, the this is the best you. they've had for ethnic background wise. But as far as like, you know, when it, when it comes to, um, the generators. you know, when you look at these base models in the creation mode. The, the Asians seem to be the only ones that actually look Damn it. Asian, and they don't look bad, where the black people and the white people in the creative mode look like someone beat them with sticks. And I'm not saying that to be racist, if you haven't played this, go to the creative mode right now and try to make a white guy or a black guy. And see how uh, Generator is active. horrible they actually look. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. So you have Nexus two Asian females, two Asian base. males, two so black females, two black males. Really? You have two right. white males and two white females. And all of them look busted up except for the Asian people. So therefore, I use the Asian people. And let's not, let's not get too carried away with this, but Native Americans legally are Asian people. Right? And that was Asian, not ancient people. They are ancient too, but, you know, we won't go there. For the generation that wasn't wiped out. You know. So hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. And I know you're always thinking, why are you always either playing in... Asian man or an Asian woman, and usually I'm just playing an Asian woman. Asian women are my kryptonite in real life, so, you know, but as far as this goes, you know, um, the women actresses actually get to say better shit than the male actresses, the male actress, and they, it may be me, it may be it's the inner actor in me, but the women's delivery actually seems to be a little bit more on point than the men's delivery. And I'm not insulting any of the men actors at all. But you know, for this for these games, the women actresses tend to have more that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Oh, I'm standing on a test. So anyway. Uh the world seems a little bit more open. And so that's probably why the people seem not to be, like, right up on the screen. But I like it this way. It seems like it has the, the people of one, but the you feel took of down all those cat for sure. um, the Use the power relay. I'll take whatever so you like. I'm going to end this now and Word make a different device, video. If that signal I'm James Lynch Jr. This is Kung Fu Lab number two. And in comparison... Right. Before I end this, I'm going to go a little ones. longer. I'm going to talk wheels. about the things that... I think they kept a little something they, in storage. They could, they could probably improve on. This game doesn't... I don't really have a lot of complaints about this game. I'll take another look around the outpost. That you only have that Just one funny, base uniform. Enough. Where in the trilogy, you actually had at least five uniforms. And the fact Keep that we up. can't Maybe get next time we'll find the mods that um, people who have um, PCs have. Go on. And then the fact here. That if you have a PC, I guess Crazy Blue has you to can buy have parts from someone the, um, else. You can have the robotic dog, 
and you get to have a whole lot more um, clothing or non-clothing, depending on how you wanted your shepherd to be. If you had thin chef and you were a little bit perverted like me, you'd have her running around. I don't have the PC. Don't think that I want to get restored. it. Though. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now. No. Right, Sam? Correct. But in, 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 in all fairness, there are people who are posting up the game with the mods and having the Sarah Rider walk around butt ass naked. I do not object to that. I totally support that shit. Because there's nothing wrong with feels like a, lead. a lady walking around butt ass naked. Damn right, that's worth investigating. Here, here, a warning. Radiation levels like, you know, beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well that's, above acceptable that's limits. That's just my personal opinion. I'm pretty sure that if I was a hot chick in the All future the and I chose to walk around naked, no one would probably say anything planet. other than Come on, maybe you ought to put some clothes on. However, I don't know if there's a mod to make everyone walk around naked. I mean, Jaw walks around naked in the scene, so we can investigate the nearby buildings. it can't be that bad, like, really, but, you know... For well, the most part, let's see if I can piss Calo off again. Shortcut! Okay, he said nothing, so obviously that didn't piss him off, and it's my fucking ship. So, you know, the the pet factor pisses like me salvage. off. Because you there's no. Days ago, you, know, no. you get that rat, Probably you get that pie but you don't get anything friends. else. Which, like, totally sucks. I don't think it's fair. But I didn't write or design the game. Well, what do you know? Would love to be the a Oplus part Research of it. Center is but, still you know, intact. it is what it is. You've seen my videos of me posting up the Research victories and defeats. The so hopefully you guys understand why I'm making these comparative videos. I hope you guys like them. Anymore. I'm pretty sure this you is how we rebuild. see that um, this was used my Sarah looks a lot better than my Sam Shepard. To find the source as for and maybe ethnic background Where... You know, my, um, Femme Shepherd gets more clothing and shit than my Sarah Ryder gets. And that's, like, a defect. It's like they drop the ball on every game that they make in, in the Mass Effect series. They, like, instead of keeping and improving, they get rid of or they keep shit, but they, like, totally frack it up. And they don't make it, like, how it... it and, there are things that you take out that you shouldn't take out, and there are things that they put in that they probably should not put in. In in other words, you know, it, it's a clusterfuck going on there. And it, um... The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. It would honestly truly help if, um, you know, they all sat down and actually were on the same fucking page. Instead of, um, you know, well, I'm gonna build this, and put that in the game, and then somebody else will come along like, well, you know, I really don't like that concept, so let's take it out of the game. Why don't you all sit down and decide, maybe y'all want to ask the fans what we want. I would love to be able to have fish in this game. I'm sure somebody had to snuck fish. I would love to actually have a pet cat, since they mentioned it. It probably won't work real well with that damn rat in your in your office. But, you know, the rat, the cat, the pie jack, a dog, a baron, you know, things that apparently seem to be missing. Cause I would like to have a Varen to go against those little, those like flat dinosaur looking things and those big dinosaur looking things. I think a Varen could probably tear those damn things up. But since they don't seem to have them, or some asshole chose not to bring them with them, which totally fucking sucks. You know, that kind of hurts my feelings. So I'm thinking, you know, really, you guys can at least put some creatures in there that is familiar to home. Not that that was relevant, but, you know. And sometimes so uh, runs like, like totally flicked it. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. I might be drooling a little bit. <laughs> this must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. Well, how did they get there? Trying to get spot. Automated protocols activated. The that seems to be the ultimate question. How did they Going get the forward, forward stations station. there? 
And God bless the forwarding stations, by the way. But how the hell did you get them there? There's a lot of unanswered questions in Mass Effect Andromeda, and there's a lot of questions that need Looks to be like asked. Looks like the station supplies are intact. Downloading Nova Crate access code. There and there. Let's walk back around here to the picture of the doohickey. Where the hell is the picture of the doohickey? Yeah, where's my picture? Okay, I guess I don't get a picture. Maybe I have to come back around here to this damn thing. Unavailable. Okay, where's the other damn spy? Give me my damn nomad. Okay, let's go on back over here to this damn crate and see what happens. Well, like I tell people every time, whenever you play Mass Effect, it's a new game every time. So whether you play with the same character or you make new characters, it's the same game, you just discover newer and incredibly crazier shit. Alright? So I'm going to end this comparative video with, I should go. This is Comfort Number 2, ECNU.